If you are looking for the requirements and the documents for Mavoko County building plan approval requirements, then this video is for you and you want to watch it up to the very end. Yeah, that's the land and urban development one-stop shop. You come there and submit your documents. I have just brought mine, so fingers crossed. The sittings are usually twice a month. Yeah, after every two weeks. Yeah, after every two weeks, they sit and discuss the approval request. So this is where you come. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad that you are watching. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the documents that you need to have your building plan approved by Mavoko County so that when it's time for you to submit, you have everything that you need. So in essence, start as early as possible. It takes a while, a lot of back and forth to have the right kind of uh, plans that you want to get all the documents that you need. So approvals at Mavoko County happen after every two weeks and your documents have to go to like six different offices for the approvals and it costs a lot of money guys I didn't think it costs this much just before you even get to the approval process and I will definitely also be talking about in the next video it's a Wednesday morning and I am headed to Athi River where the Mavoko lands office is located and I'm going to submit my building plans. It's like about 38 days from when I started this journey. And um, I finally have all the documents that I need. In my case, my house is considered a maisonette. You call it maisonette, marchionette, whatever you call it. It's considered a maisonette. So that means um, my requirements are a little different than, for example, if you want to do a bungalow. But um, it's not too much different. So as you're going to see, and yeah so let's check out the documents that i'm going to be submitting and this is basically what you will require to submit to mavoko county the first thing that you need to find the moment you decide you want to develop your property you must go to the county government of machakos and get a clearance certificate the clearance certificate costs 6500 shillings and it's payable on each property and they give you up to the validity of the date usually is up to the end of the year as you can see mine is up to 31st of december and i applied for it on the 13th of april for you to get this certificate you have to pay any land rates you might have that are in arrears as well as the land rates for the current year so like in my case it was 2021 and then for my charcos county and then you also um if you hadn't paid your arrears and there's penalties then you have to pay for that as well so i was fortunate at the time i was um, seeking my clearance certificate the governor of machakos county had given a waiver on any penalty so the only thing i paid was my land rate arrears from when i bought the property um all the way up to uh, 2020 and then i also paid the current fees which was um for 2021 and um for you to get the clearance certificate um you must also pay six thousand for your plot registration and then of course the structural engineering sheets <laughs> i have like 10 of these that you need to submit and um you know they have to be signed and just i mean it's really they're on this kind of paper i don't even know what you call this then with your structural designs, you must also um, insert the structural calculation for the proposed um, development. The same has to be stamped. So basically, these are the contents, the technical details, loading sheet, blah, blah, blah. It's a very complex. I don't understand anything that is in here, so I won't even pretend. But basically, those are the um, details. And then your engineers must also give you a certificate from the engineers board and um, it has to be valid you know for the year and in the field when it was issued 
so that's for the structural now let's go for the architectural so of course your architect has to give you his practicing certificate you know which must be valid so usually their licenses run from 1st of july to the 30th of june and then of course for your architectural plans make sure they put like um, your boundary wall you're gonna need that okay and it must also be signed by the architect it must have all the notes um and this you're gonna need five copies so i have my five copies here and then you need the um, sub county indemnity form and this is signed by all the developers when you submit your structural designs and plans for approval and it has to be signed in triplicate you're basically confirming that you will employ the services of an experienced resident engineer blah 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 okay all three of you have to sign that is the architect engineer and yourself last but not least you need the ppa1 form which you also get from the county government of machacos and you need to fill this out specifically take note of this section just after your id number this section on physical planner slash architect slash engineer this section must be signed by your architect and he or she must attach an endorsed valid practicing certificate stamp this section and put their signature